Sunday afternoon. You join me on a scorching Sunday afternoon, just after the uh, King's Coronation, Saturday. It's uh, raining that day. Um, the wife's now come back from being away for a week, and um, amazingly, um, yeah, she let me go out and do a night fishing, which is fantastic. So, thank you, Mrs. H. Absolutely brilliant news. Um, so the kitchens aren't the best, it's a bit sort of fair, really. Um, the ground overcast morning, um, a bit of drizzle in the air. The forecast is sort of 20 degrees realistically, and it's uh, yeah, it's gonna, gonna be a sort of a scorcher. So, um, along with <laughs> had to hurt my leg yesterday, um, I missed the last three rows of the stairs and just stomped down on my right leg. I've done something to the muscles, so I can't put a, a lot of pressure on the front of my foot because it causes that muscle to hurt. I have to walk on the heel of my foot sort of makes things a little bit difficult so my swim selection was purely based around not very far away from the car but far enough it's a bit hairy because to get this swim i have to go across a uh, a bridge and um yeah i haven't been across the bridge in the new barra either so first trip in the new barra across the bridge and um yeah first trip with a gammy leg across the bridge it, uh, it's okay, otherwise we'll be talking to you now. Um, very nearly wasn't okay. It's sort of, you know, say 25% going wrong, but I managed to sort of recover it, get across the bridge without tipping the barrier over. So, yeah, that would have been funny. Yeah, that would have probably been a better video than this, wouldn't it, realistically, for everyone? But hey, not necessarily for me. So I've picked up in my, one of my favourite island swims, the first island swim. Badger One, we call it. Um, of course, Badger Island. But the fact that it isn't really Badger Island, that's another island, but we've been calling it the wrong thing for seven or eight years, so it's now the wrong thing. Um, the wind's going to push from the southwest down here. Um, a huge band of rain during at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, so I'm going to be well and truly gone by then. And uh, yeah. Yeah, because it's here all day, so I thought, well, we'll go out for the afternoon, this afternoon, and uh, overnight, and then back out tomorrow morning. That would be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, I'll switch around now. You can see the lake. A lot better view than me yabbering on the thing all the time. That's one of my favourite views, that is. Looking out across there. Absolutely marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Still a bit of toot on the ground. I've got to do my unhooking mat and me. Uh, Wasteling and everything like that. I haven't got my brolly up yet or anything at the moment. Um, I'm going to do most of my video from the tripod to be perfectly honest with you. Because I don't really want to be hobbling around particularly. Um, the time I want to be hobbling is to them rods over there. Um, and the worst thing about it is the longer I sit down, the more I f forget about uh, what's wrong with my leg and just get up and stand on it like I would do normally. Then it hurts. <laughs> so. Yeah, sort of sets me back a little bit of time, but we shall see. Let's carry on doing this in a week's time. I'll sort of actually go and do something about it, really. But I think, uh, you know, taking uh, my brief fan occasionally, relax the muscles, etc. Uh, had a bit of heat on it last night. Um, I'll get home tomorrow and I'll have a, a hot bath and hopefully should sort things out. Um, I'll find out Tuesday when I'm hopping around people's gardens. <laughs> It'll be good fun. So all I've done is I'm trying to make it as simple as simple as possible. Um, I haven't spawned anything out yet. I am going to put a few spawns out later on. Um, I've just chucked two bags on and just chucked them out there. You know, standing up spawning and trying to get it to sort of the distance I'm trying to go it's out of here is a bit it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. I gotta be mindful of. I think I can, I can do three nights at the end of this week. So what I don't wanna be is sort of uh, laid up three nights, just being stupid on just uh, doing one night. So you have to be sensible about this one. 
So I've set up that. Um, I'm going to allow my bed for a bit now. I'll then set up my um, brolly and everything later. And just bomb a little bit of bait out in the area later on. And just sort of like relax in between doing everything. Um, they're both a uh, spot of fish for a long time, realistically. If you look back over my videos, I've spent a, a lot of time in this swim. Uh, and a lot of time in this room to the right of this and Ian spent a lot of time in this room and we've you know, done, done increasingly well out here and move that to get a little bit more view of the sky because it's looking absolutely gorgeous out there uh, yeah, I, what shall we say, there was um, two, three, three people down fishing maybe four, so perfect so I've timed it quite well for this bank holiday sort of nearly wanted to go um, where I was last week um, but I just I, I, yeah that ground's rough and unstable and unsturdy and I just it just didn't I went to try and walk down there uh, it wasn't wasn't brilliant and um, with, with the barrow as well um, you had to sort of hang on to the barrow sort of quite a lot to keep it level and firm so no I just I abandoned that plan I think the bridge is probably not quite as hard. Um, just reading the barrel into a swim would have been better. There's one swim that you can actually park your car in and have a look at that. And didn't really, really fancy that. That involves um, wading out, recasting, wading out, spawning and things. So, no, I'm just going to simplify things for this just one night. Um, I nearly went down on what we call the tower point. That involves going up and down that hill, and I just didn't didn't think that would be a good idea either. So I'm going to have to pitch up here, be sensible, and uh, yeah, take it from here really. Right, enough of my uh, ramblings. I'm going to um, sit and enjoy the fantastic view, wait for the sun to disappear out of the swim, and uh, yeah, set home up. Not sure if I'm going to even mozzy that. Because I, no, you normally do in here. I'm sure if have to have to see. Have to see. I bought my mozzy sort of machine, so should uh, sort things out. Right, let's enjoy. Well, this is my little pitch. I'll come out for a little bit of a wander. It's going to be a bit, a little bit of a wobbly, wobbly uh, experience. Because if I like stand on the wrong bit of my leg, it's going to hurt. But look at that, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? This is why I love this place. <sighs> absolutely beautiful. Tucked away, a little corner on an island, away from everything else. What more can you uh, ask for? Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Sun still shining, a nice bit of cloud, overclassed, bit of wind blowing. And there's every chance of a take this afternoon. I might actually not spawn any bait out now. Uh, I might just uh, get the old throwing stick out and see what occurs with the seagulls, and then make my mind up. Uh, I'm going to go over the far side. I don't think there's anyone else around, really. It just literally is just, you know. Me down this end of the lake. That's what we like. I think the bank holiday is uh, mostly passed now and everyone's uh, done their bit. So should quiet down for a few weeks. But it does look good here, doesn't it? Really does look good. So let's just hope one of those uh, one of these beauties rips off and hooking mats already. I've got me uh, fast and light up mozzy thing on. I think it is uh, Mozzie land here. I keep seeing the odd random one, but uh, it's just not going to risk it. And so I've got me uh, another gas power thing that I can't think of the name of it for the life of it at the moment. All set up, ready to go as well, so I'll keep them away. But yeah, looking beautiful in it. Really is. So hopefully, hopefully, <sighs> we're going to be in luck for a take tonight. I am playing around with rigs and things, so. Mm, Say no more. Go have a go. <laughs> Something I've been meaning to try for a while, but I haven't quite got around to it. So, a bit brave, I think. 
But maybe we shall see how it pans out realistically. Radio. I'm going to actually put the kettle on now. See you later. Well, good morning all. Um, as you'll notice, everything is now packed down on the barrow, all set for the uh, first trip for the car, once I've just done the rods. Um, totally blank night. Not a not a bleep, nothing whatsoever at all. Uh, I heard fish crashing in the bay behind me. That those little spots I need to get back into that I did the other year. So I see myself maybe ending up in there next weekend. Don't know. We'll just have to see what the conditions look like when I get here and everything. Um, don't know. Still waiting for them to suddenly sp spur into spawning activities because we're now in May so the hot topic that is of this month about when it's actually going to occur but yeah it's about half six now in the morning the rain is due at seven so I'm going to uh, bid you farewell thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, just notched up a, another blank to the uh, to the uh, school board this year looking uh, Badly in favour of blanks at the moment, but we'll uh, keep on trucking. Do like this place, absolutely love it. It's very, don't know, there's something about it, very calming. This swim, very calming indeed. Right, I'd better get going because I was only going to get caught out by the rain, which I think I'd be uh, grumpy about because uh, everything is. Uh, all dry. So the fish just roll out there, I think. Might be on camera, don't know. Don't know if it stuck his head out, just noticed the flat spot. So they're on the move, so if I had a few more hours, who can tell really? But uh, it's due to rain. Well, I think it's due to rain from about 7 o'clock until about 2 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, with maybe the odd little break. Unbelievable. And tomorrow's dodgy forecast as well, so. I'm feeling the uh, gardening is going to get a beating this week. <sighs> which is okay. I've got another couple of weeks before I go on holiday. Which isn't too bad then, really. Right. 